applying the hook splint. There are many ways to apply the hook splint, but this is just some general principles of how we designed it, uh, but uh, there are many ways to do it. First, the splint is wrapped around the fingers. In this case, we're gonna do a middle finger relative motion orthosis and extension. This is the sizing portion of the application process. And you just slide a tab through uh, the perforation with a good fit around the fingers. And then to test and make sure that the sizing is correct, you can slightly bend the tab and just have the patient go through some range of motion and make sure you're not too tight, not too loose, you allow a little bit of play there. Then when you're comfortable with that sizing, you lock the tab. So the tab is now sticking through. We take, in this case, a needle driver, bend it down and place it through the adjacent perforation, pinch that down, smooth it out on the bottom, and that's the locking process. We then form the rigid zone, which is the doubled over portion of the splint. Continue to wrap that around, keeping the band adjacent to each other. And then repeat the process over here on the other side. Find the right perforation, place it down and through. and then go through the same locking process on that side. The splint goes back on the hand for sizing. Put the involved finger into relative extension. Take the patient through a couple of cycles of range of motion. And that's the application of the hook splint.